Out of body with the flow. They want it more. I give them more. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Link in the description for merchandise. Also, tuck banners, www.tucktheworld.com. Today we got a package from Max Peating Rods. Let's open it up and see what it is. Alright guys, so if you guys been up to date with the videos and paying attention to what I've done to this car, I uh, bagged the front of this Civic for simple fact that we got the spokes and it pretty much sits on the floor so it can't be static the way we want it to be. The rear is, but Max Peen Rod is working with me and we came up with a solution with being able to have a compressor kit. You can use an app on your phone to run it, not having to be in the vehicle to air it up, but it has a wireless controller, comes with a sticker. This is one of the first ones that they got as far as releasing. So shout out to them again. Shout out to Max Peen Rod for being able to let me do this. And uh, looks like we got all the wiring, fuses, comes with a lot of other fuses too. The wire loom, that's gonna be for all the wires that you need to connect. We got zip ties, fittings, a filter for the air compressor. It's just one big air compressor kit compared to the smaller one that we are using. You're gonna put your filter on this spot and then basically just power and ground your windshield wiper fuse for whenever you turn the key on. Unless you wanna have it always with power so that way you can use a remote whenever you want. That's probably how I'm gonna wire it up, but here's the output. Looks pretty clean and simple. Don't look like there's gonna be any issues or any problems with it. It's pretty nice compact. Hopefully it's quiet. And then it comes with uh, airline, the batteries for the remote. And here's the remote on the top. It comes with this little remote right here, you guys. So you can adjust it from one to two to three and you can set your ride heights for everything. So let's get this all back to the house and start installing it and see how it works. Let's go. All right, guys. So we made it back to the house. I did already get everything connected and everything situated with the compressor. So that way it's already working and wired up. I'm doing it right here next to the battery. So that way I can figure out how I want to set everything up. There's a pink wire that is already cut short. And what you want to do is you want to take that and hook that up to the power to the compressor. They come with these fittings that are on here that are on the back and then they're also on the front. What they're wanting you to do is to um, basically pop these plastic caps out like this. On this side where the compressor line already was, I was able just to unscrew this one that had that cap. And then I screwed that one in right there and it was perfect. And then on this side, all I did was take out this plastic piece right here and stick the hose on there and then tighten it down and then it crimped it. And the other compressor kit that I have, one that I put inside here from the first video that I did. I'm gonna run this one to the trunk and I'm gonna connect it to the power wires that I already have linked for the one in the glove box. And I'm gonna tee it off right here and I'm gonna connect this line to uh, this in the trunk. I'm gonna have the one in the glove box and then have this one. What I notice already is when you set this, you can put it on three different modes that you want. Like right now, it's at 80. So I can push 85 and that's where I have the first one set. And so when you set these, all you have to do is just go find the number. You hit OK, find your number, and it only goes to 100. It maxes out at 100. So that's all you can set these at. This is going to be for when I drive. If I want to go all the way low, I'll click this one right here. And then the whole time that this is connected and this is on, this will constantly keep that air pressure at that, that PSI that it's supposed to be at. To turn this remote on, you have to hold it for three seconds. Right here is at 100. And it airs up pretty quick. It don't take that long compared to the one that's in the glove box. So once it reaches 100, it's gonna shut off. If it has an air leak and anything goes on with the air leaking out of it, it will just start back up. As soon as it drops a little bit of PSI, it'll air back up and then it'll set it there. This will be good for anything that anybody hauling stuff, anything kind of leveling out to where that way it stays at same red height. If you do travel a far distance, um, 
every once in a while with the other kit that I have in the glove box, it, you got to hit the compressor and you got to pay attention to that. So having this in the trunk, I'll probably have a kill switch on the dash somewhere so that way I can turn this on, set the PSI while I'm driving. Adjusting anything on it, it'll just automatically do it itself with this. That'll be good to have. And then I'll just have the backup one in the glove box just so that way if emergency and this one doesn't work or anything, I can just still air it up. I did put the filter on this. And like I said, I just pulled out the plastic piece that was in this one, stuck the hose through there, tightened it down, and that was good. And then this side comes with this piece already on this hose right here. So all you have to do is just take out the other one, like I said before, and just install that right there, and you're good to go. So basically, once you leave it at 100 or whatever PSI, you're set. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to mess with it. You don't have to do anything. So there's obviously an air leak somewhere on this. So that's why it keeps hitting the air up. But I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in the trunk. Wire loom that comes in the kit. I'm gonna use it just to go over all these wires all the way to the trunk. Um, they don't have no issues or no leaks. So I'm gonna get this installed, run the lines, and then I'll show you guys how I connect it right here. So that way I can have both of them. And then run a little kill switch and then we'll go test it out and see how it does. guys so we got everything done i still got to bolt it down it is kind of just sitting back here but i did want to make sure that everything was straight before i actually bolted it down i basically just grounded it out um right here and just ran the wires through the inside of the door down in this trim and ran it all the way through all the way to the front it's got a fuse right there and i also did hook up a switch right now it is turning on it's airing up not a bad setup as far as having the one that's already in the dash this one right here turns on and off to uh, level it out i do recommend putting this kit in the trunk if you are running one of these air compressor kits the first one that i did install and i'll leave a link in the description for that video and leave a little tag right here for the video for you guys to see it's at 62 right now and you guys can get an idea of it airing up It does take a little bit to air up, but that's not really a problem. I mean, it beats having a air tank and having to wire up all the air management and everything else. It's just plug and play and not having no issues with it. If I do want to sit here and lower it, I set the first, uh, the third setting right here to uh, 60 PSI. So when I hit that, set it to 60 psi so if i want to drive and i'm driving straight or driving down the road and i want it a little bit lower i'll show you guys right now how i hooked up the hoses so that way i can still have both kits this goes to driver side this goes to the passenger side airbag with these airlines this line right here is the compressor that is in the glove box and this other line right here is the compressor that we installed and then i connected both of those together and connected them both to the front airlines. The kit in the front that has the gauge does tell me what the PSI is at as far as for being at 60. But yeah, guys, link in the description if you guys wanna purchase one of these. Uh, I recommend it just as far as having it for the first kit as an extra setup so that way you don't have to worry about nothing if you do want wireless and you wanna be able to air it up and drop it. There is also an app that you can download on your phone that allows you to air it up and um, I haven't really tried the distance I haven't tried distance for um, let me hit it to air it up and we're gonna walk down this way 
and that way I can see how far the remote will reach. I want to see the distance on this. Right now it's still reading how much PSI is in there and it's still letting me know that it's airing up. I would say we're probably about maybe about 40 feet, 50 feet and it's still airing up and so basically it's still aired up and it's still telling me. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it and this is about how far I am so it is lowering it and it did drop it back down to 60 psi about 50 feet away you guys there you go the remote still works you still are able to uh see the readings and everything so if you were at car show or you were walking up to your car and you were just getting ready to leave and you wanted to leave you can sit here be 50 feet away so by the time it does take a little bit of time to air up you are able to still get to your car by then and uh leave Yeah, and that way we don't have to sit there and push the button to air it up. Yeah.